you were to interview each and every Nigerian that tra travels to South Africa, trust and believe his number one priority on his list is not to destroy black South Africans. That's not true. And that's how, how you all are making it seem. Okay. You're doing exactly what your shadow government wants you to do. <laughs> okay. Stop thinking that everything is what it seems. We know the white tea people like to play mind games. They like to create a full image and put a mirror in front of you to think that you're seeing something that is not there stop it no we know let me tell you something the reason why i know because i'm in america we all know but man listen black american people have the worst reputation and when you come here i guarantee you you will see nothing like what you've seen on tv or read in the magazines or, or the newspaper we have a very sinister agency called the CIA they have done a spectacular job of propaganda when it comes down to black men and they are doing the same with the Nigerians stop it they see the Nigerians are actually really getting ahead baby let me if it wasn't for Tina we, we gotta get Tina Boo out of there but if it wasn't for Tina Boo it, they probably would be much further okay so stop it no you're doing exactly what your South shadow government wants you to do in that tree act see they want you to they want the black South Africans to say oh it's the Nigerians but what are the South Africans the white South Africans saying they're saying nothing they're letting you do the job yourself yeah Amika you, you I, I don't I don't think you've, you've answered me there um, the issue was never about generalizing and saying all Nigerians the, the issue is about the crime that is happening and committed by by some of our brothers and we're not saying all we know the good Nigerians in South Africa right we we've got brothers in law um nigerians that uh, that took our our cousins and our sisters so i'm saying now to the nigerians that are committing the crime are you saying um we just blowing a fuse and there's nothing happening is that what you are saying you are talking about the government and that, that the government is not complaining you know even our ministers are not even complaining the guys on the ground are complaining that sees these things happening so I, I i'm just say, i'm just saying are you saying this is not happening and this is just propaganda as you say and we should just all relax and and, and enjoy the life is that what you're saying because we, should, we wouldn't be here now um, having this issue if there was nothing happening and let me tell you something my sister we don't we don't have nigerian problems uh, in, 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 in South Africa, we have criminal Nigerian problem. That is what I'm referring to. And we don't only have problems with Nigeria, we also have problems with Zimbabweans. There's some who are, we know what they are doing here. We've got Malawians as well. We know what they are doing here. But in this case, in this life, we're now addressing the Nigerian issue. So I'm saying to you, are you saying there is nothing that the Nigerians, the criminal Nigerians in South Africa are doing? There's nothing. So we, we just, we just complaining because we've got enough time to play around and complain is that what you're saying no i'm not saying that what i'm saying is your shadow government is at fault when you think about the powder and things that are going on in your community you have to get to the source see petty criminals aren't your problem they're easy to pick up they're easy to lock up they're easy to trap they're easy but what's not easy is getting and trapping and catching the cartels what i'm trying to tell you is is that crime is operating in a nigerian face so yeah you're seeing that the nigerians are in your neighborhoods neighborhoods selling powder but what i'm asking you is who is behind that nigerian who's behind it what is behind it how much money are they investing in that powder to get it into your neighborhoods you have to let me tell you something when you okay what they do here they catch they they let the petty criminal right do it do his thing they catch him but they don't want him they'll interrogate him and do you know what they'll ask who is your source where are you getting this stuff from they don't want the smaller fish they want the bigger fish that's what i'm trying to explain to you who is the bigger fish behind the Nigerian criminal or behind the Nigerian face? Uh, Mika, um, let, let, let's put it in your way. There's a bigger fish, right? 
so why why are some of the Nigerian falling in that trap working with those bigger fish where South Africans do not fall in that trap? So so are you saying you know by obeying to those bigger fish the Nigerians some of those Nigerians obeying to the bigger fish and distributing some of those um, uh, stuff are you saying that's right? The, the issue here we we need support from from our brothers so if if they gonna succumb to that by accepting that and and doing the businesses that are being shared from the bigger fish that is the problem that we are having because we don't see the bigger fish remember the people on the ground don't see the bigger fish right? right they see our brothers distributing these things on the ground so we we, we have that problem now so that's why we need a support and we need to address it head on. So why are our brothers taking it where we not accepting it? But see, that's the thing. Like I, as I told you guys, so sorry guys, sorry guys. Um, all right, let's just have Mika respond quickly and then we'll wrap this conversation up and move on to me. Um, when we're done, we can circle back to this conversation if you guys want to engage again. Um, so Mika, just give your final thoughts and let's move on to me. Okay, so what I'm trying to, to, to uh, say to uh, my brother is that I am not saying that you guys are not hallucinating. What I'm saying is, is that you have to get to the root cause because not only are there Nigerian criminals, they are also South African criminals. See, we're not hearing you complain about the South, South African criminal. We only hear you talking about the Nigerians and, and you're not even talking about the other professional Nigerians there. That's it. That's, that's all we hear. And that is not right. Again, when you go into your prisons, you should not be worried about which one is or who is is Nigerian or not the problem is is why do you have black men there period when where they come from are the the lands are rich with resources even with the Zimbabweans why are there even Zimbabwean people in prison that's a problem stop thinking that that the crim that 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 Nigerians are are just criminals period that is not right you do that that is that is called that is propaganda you cannot do that the issue is is that we have too many black people in prisons period you should not be counting up counting up counting nigerians no that's not right okay because granted before we even had countries in the people moved along africa as they please so it's perfectly it is her right all right okay let's let's just quickly move on i think what mika is saying is that she thinks south africans are generalizing the problem and focusing too much on nigerians but they should be focusing on the source and the root cause of the problems and i think what black uh black Potigeta is saying is that he feels like you're minimizing um their complaints and their you know their issues and their grievances um let's quickly just move on to Tumi and we can circle back if there is time um Tumi please what's your thoughts on the topic and the discussion hi everybody and thank you very much curated um I appreciate the platform I really feel like Sorry, sorry guys, sorry guys, before we... Sorry, sorry guys, S sorry guys. understand that, you know, because it's a Nigerian platform, it could be that somebody, you know, sees only one side. I felt like it was very one-sided because it was you south africans feel this way you're saying nigerians this you're saying and the truth is it's not like if you say we must stop exaggerating and stop generalizing you know you must wear the same hat because the truth is i come on to this uh live and i'm coming here as an african before i am I, I come as a south african because i always try and get everywhere like on on lives because i just love talking to people and you get to a point where you hear uh, we've got to teach you this you must listen to us as south africans you don't know the world you don't know and you you know just those 
simple insults which you you think you are just speaking your mind but it shows it just seems a bit ignorant as well because you are generalizing all south africans but you haven't heard me speak and you don't know all south africans just like i don't know all nigerians i think we are both very biased when we talk in this you know about this because i believe that there are no sober south africans south africans who really want to kill or unalive unalive nigerians and it's not true that